In this video, I will show you how to set up a bridge, also known as a call conference or audio conferencing, with VoIP.ms. With this feature, you can create your own space and allow several people to be bridged together in the same conversation. First, log into the customer portal. Navigate over to DID numbers and click audio conferencing. In order to create a bridge, click the Add Conference button. First, you may give a name to your bridge, for example, John's Bridge. Second, you may use this field to write notes. Third, you may limit the number of participants according to your needs or simply leave it to zero for unlimited. Note that the unlimited setting is actually limited to the maximum number of channels allowed on your assigned DID, which is 25 by default. Finally, you may choose the language of the system messages. You may also set member profiles. To do so, head over to Participants and Conference Settings and click Add Profile. You may, for instance, set a PIN which all your callers will have to dial before joining the conference. A set of advanced options is also available where you can set, for example, music on hold when only one person is in the conference. Finally, under the Recordings tab, you can customize all the messages that the users will hear when joining, leaving, holding, and much more. Going back to the conference page, the host can also access a dashboard that allows him to monitor and control different aspects of the conference call in real time, such as recording the conference call. Back again on the conference page, to see your recordings, you may head over to the download section to listen, download, or email your recordings. Finally, you will need to route a DID number to your bridge. To do so, head over to DID Numbers. Manage DID. Click the pencil icon to edit your DID. Then, click on Call Conferencing Settings to be routed to your new bridge. Finally, click the Save Your Changes button. Note that this feature is only available to DID numbers on a per minute plan. And this is how you can set up a bridge with VoIP.ms. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.